Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder after Alzheimer's. It is a premature loss of dopamine producing neurons leading to both dopamine and acetylcholine deficiency. Dopamine and acetylcholine are both neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers released by neurons so that they can communicate with each other. Dopamine plays a role in motor function, pleasure, motivation, and emotions, and acetylcholine is important in muscle movement, especially in voluntary muscle movement such as cardiac contraction, blood pressure, peristalsis, and other autonomic nervous system functions such as sweating and salivation. In Parkinson's disease, there is an imbalance between dopamine and acetylcholine, and dopamine levels are affected more than acetylcholine leading to a variety of signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms. There are four classic Parkinson's symptoms. Tremor, muscle rigidity, bradykinesia, and postural instability. For patients to be diagnosed with Parkinson's, they have to have at least two of these symptoms, and these symptoms typically begin on one side and become bilateral as the disease progresses. Tremor is an earlier sign of Parkinson. It is usually first noted in the fingers and arms, but can also occur in feet, legs, jaw, mouth, or tongue. Pill rolling is a classic Parkinson's tremor of the fingers, and it looks like the patient is rolling a small object in between the thumb and index finger. Parkinson's tremor is a resting tremor in which the tremor occurs at rest and decreases with active movement. Muscle rigidity is the stiffness of muscles in the arms and legs. Some people describe it as freezing or feeling like they are stuck in place. Bradykinesia refers to a delay in initiating movement. For example, it takes them longer to do simple tasks, their walking is slower, and their ability to respond to threats is compromised. There could also be akinesia, which means there is no initiation of movement at all. Bradykinesia occurs when approximately 70% to 80% of dopamine-producing neurons have failed, which makes it the strongest clinical indicator of dopamine deficiency in Parkinson's. Postural instability is a late manifestation of Parkinson's disease in which there is poor balance and difficulty with gait. For example, patients with Parkinson's may take small, shuffling steps with foot and leg dragging and they are unable to stop themselves from falling if pushed lightly. Besides these classic Parkinson's symptoms, you may also see micrographia in which their handwriting becomes small and cramped due to a combination of bradykinesia and rigidity. Hypomimia is the mask-like facial expression due to rigidity and can also affect other facial muscles and cause dysphagia and drooling. Hypophonia refers to soft voice, monotonous speech. Dystonia refers to a sustained posture of neck, arms, legs, or feet, which often cause muscle pain. Parkinson's also affects non-motor functions due to its effect on the autonomic nervous system. ANS regulates involuntary physiological processes in the body, including heart rate, blood pressure, respiration, digestion, and sexual arousal. So you may see orthostatic hypotension, excessive sweating, erectile dysfunction, urinary retention, slowed peristalsis, constipation, bloating, and early satiety in patients with Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease can also cause cognitive and psychological impairment due to the disruption in acetylcholine level. Patients may experience depression, anxiety, fear, panic, and a sense of powerlessness associated with loss of independence. In the later stages, patients can also experience Parkinson's disease psychosis, which includes visual hallucinations or delusions. I will go over pharmacological interventions for Parkinson's disease in the next video.